Excuse me, class. Class. Well, I tried to do and starting this yesterday, and uh, my SD card reader was messing up on my computer, so I'm going to try it again with a different card. Um, we uh, we have an out of control weed issue. Um, the last two years, it's just been getting worse. We have pulled like crazy. We've tried smothering it. We tried burning it. We tried feeding it out to the sheep. We did all that this year. We smothered it. Um, I think we smothered it first, didn't we? And uh, we pulled it back and other than where we didn't have it smothered, it was all dead. And within a week or two, it was all coming in uh, full of weeds. Then we brought the sheep in. It was about this high. I mean, look at that, that's solid thistle and uh, what we call, I think it's called binding weed. This stuff right here, it is nasty. We've never seen it before. It came in probably two or three years ago. It's kind of encroaching on a lot of the fields, um, the wheat fields and stuff up top. And they say it will, it, these vines just spread throughout the fields and it'll actually bind up the entire combine and it'll pull in. A uh, buddy of mine that does that, he said, he said they've been doing the combine and all of a sudden you'll just see almost an acre worth of wheat just start bowing down because it's just pulling in all these vines that are connected and it is nasty stuff. So we're going to try some stuff out here soon. Our garden, I mean, if you look over here, it just looks like weeds everywhere. And there's a lot of weeds. I mean, it really took over this year. I think the rain, we had, we just had so much rain. But we're going to try some stuff here pretty soon. Um, I got to get a hold of the stuff and we're going to try it out and see how it works. Um, and I'll do a video on that. But we do have a lot of areas that have been smothered out with tarps. And uh, that's the only way we can really grow it right now. But uh, we're going to have to, we got to figure something out. Like I said, we brought the sheep in. They ate it all the way to the ground and it looked great. And then I came in and had a huge fire right here in the middle of this, this area. It was hot enough. I came back hours after the fire died and started throwing some more wood on there to build another one and it ignited just from the heat of the soil and within two weeks and this is this is where the fire was it was right in here right where I'm standing um, it was 20 something foot long four or five foot wide and it's it's just we don't know what to do I have no idea what to do the thistle is just gone nuts but what I started to do and this was yesterday and then I got busy and I'm back here to try to finish it. We're transplanting some of the nut trees that we started. All of them that have come up appear to be walnut. I started transplanting them yesterday. One of my sheep got in and ate one of them down a little bit, but I think it'll live. I hope it will. Um, we're gonna have to see what happens. I'm hoping that the other nuts will start coming in. I gotta. I guess I need to soak them more, make sure they stay uh, wet longer, but they're not even starting to, to sprout yet. So um, I'm hoping that they will with just enough time. So here we are. Um, I'm putting them in a pot and it's gonna have, we've got some uh, two different kinds of composted manure and sphagnum peat moss that we mixed up in this bucket. And um, right now we're just trying to get them out of this shallow tray. And here I'll try to show you what's happening. Um, what we have here is these are the walnuts sprouting and here's two of them side by side they're probably intertwined quite a bit I'm betting and uh, yep yeah, they are but there's the walnut you can see attached to that one still but the roots, other than getting bound with each other, they're also going sideways, as you can see, and we don't want that. So we're gonna take all these. There's the other one that I just pulled up. The yogurt wrapper from my kiddos. Yeah, these have been in here way too long. I should have gotten to these probably three or four weeks ago. I saw them sprouting and kept saying I'm going to come out here and get them done and just got busy. So 
there's a nice one with a really good ta uh, tap root on it now we just need to get that tap root going down instead of sideways we'll have us a good another good tree there and um, and I'm not giving up on all of the ones that are still in here I'm still gonna we're still going to uh, keep watering this tray and we have the other trays off to the side we're gonna keep watering so we're gonna plant these in some of these pots here and try to get them up a little bit bigger this year and I don't know probably find some good spots um, we're gonna try to plant them in kind of bare root into the native soil and then mulch it really heavy around it and fence it off keep the deer away from it so we have eight I think there's eight of these walnut trees that have sprouted um, they're doing well uh, we probably planted 60 or 70 of them I was hoping for a lot more and um, these as you can see we haven't had any of them sprout up from here but I just have a hard time I think the maybe the the shells are just too hard there's a hazelnut that floated up but um, let's see let's pull some of these out and see if they're starting to they're still hard as a rock there's no roots coming out of them at all so we're just gonna have to keep these wet the, the soil is good and damp um, there's we had hazelnut we had almond I have no idea if almonds will grow up here very well anyway but it is plenty warm right now these are some of the almonds right here and <clears throat> one of the things I'll point out it's been very cold uh, for June we we have had a lot of rain for for June um, let's see what is uh, uh, we probably had rain 18 to 20 days um, we had a total of a week and a half where the temperatures were up um, 90 or above and the rest of the rest of the month I mean we had we had days that were our highs were low 50s um, in June which is very unusual here um, so we're hoping it'll with the heat coming up we'll get some more of these to sprout and then yeah by this fall as it starts raining again and the trees are getting ready to go dormant anyway we're going to try to get ready and come out here and go through and start clearing off long areas and uh, planting out whatever we can get to uh, grow whatever we can get to sprout we may plant them pretty close together just in case because we're plan on losing we plan on losing a lot of them there's some stuff missing in the soil here i need to get it tested to see what i need to add to it so i don't have to try 10 trees for one successful one which I've heard I've got friends here that they do a lot of fruit trees and nut trees and stuff and they say for every tree that they successfully have grown in their orchards they've planted five to ten trees to get that one so that that's years that's that's a lot of time a lot of money and a lot of waste so let's find out what's missing right and then put it in there so anyhow so we're gonna go ahead and finish putting these in and uh, we got some of these partially put in the roots the roots here are in and the shells just up I'm gonna to top it off with some good soil and uh, not sure how that got in there but it looks it feels like it's actually starting to split maybe so I'm gonna cover that up and just that's one of the things we got to do with this shallow tray and I'll try to do it different next year if I get the chance um, I won't do one so shallow um, this is one that split and has started I wonder if it's dead time to water it and uh, get it some more soil see I mean we sh we should have quite a few of these I'm hoping it just didn't get too dry and kill them uh, during the week and a half two weeks when it was hot I wasn't here to check on them I didn't even think of asking my wife to check on them while I was working on the roof so if it got 95 degrees for a week and didn't didn't rain on them and they just sat out and baking because it's such a shallow tray it'll bake and dry it real quick so I'll have to uh, take some of this water my kids are playing in right here and soak them really good and see if we can't get more of them to come up all right guys we're gonna finish potting these up and uh, go on inside and get ready for dinner it is a beautiful what is today is today the first of July today's the first of July and it is a beautiful day uh, it's been overcast very comfortable and uh, I think we got rain coming later in the week, which is really unusual for up here, getting rain this late in the year. So, hope you guys enjoy. 
I've got a lot of stuff coming up and uh, sorry this time of year it's just hard to get uh, get a lot of stuff videoed and uh, and uh, edited and put out there so um, the more I have to do work off the homestead the less I get to film on the homestead so this is the time of season where I'm off the homestead a bunch so you guys keep in touch keep a lookout for my videos please if you haven't uh, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and follow and uh, check us out. Have a good one. Bye.